Have you ever thought someone would make a great leader because of their appearance? Perhaps you've believed an attractive person had other positive qualities, like kindness and honesty, based off their picture alone. Do you trust a product because it's endorsed by a celebrity that you like and admire? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you may be guilty of a cognitive bias called the halo effect. In religious art, halos appear as circular crowns of light that glow above the heads of saints and angels. The halo's glow has the ability to portray people in an all-encompassing and special light. In psychology, the halo effect describes a form of stereotyping in which one positive aspect of a person influences how we feel about their other traits. A common example is that good-looking people tend to be rated higher on other positive traits, like intelligence, even though physical attractiveness is not an accurate indicator of intelligence and may actually be quite misleading. It's one reason why the villains in stories are ugly and cruel, while the heroes and heroines are beautiful, kind, and intelligent. But it's not just looks that influence our overall impression of a person. Psychologists have found that the halo effect encompasses other traits too. For example, kind people may be seen as more intelligent or likeable. The halo effect was discovered in the 1920s by American psychologist Edward Thorndike. Thorndike asked commanding officers in the military to rate the subordinates on leadership, intelligence, physique, and personal qualities like loyalty and cooperation. The servicemen found to be taller and more attractive were also rated as more intelligent and better soldiers. Thorndike concluded that people generalize from one outstanding trait to encompass others. In 1946, psychologist Solomon Ash found that first impressions are more important for forming an overall impression of someone. In an experiment, participants were read two lists of adjectives that described a person. The lists were the same, but one list was given in reverse order. When positive traits were presented first, the person was rated more favorably. This is important for explaining the halo effect. Our first impression of someone, like their appearance, influences our overall judgment. Our brains make these judgments in as little as a tenth of a second, without us even realizing the halo effect is particularly problematic where initial judgments have a big effect later on, as is the case of dating and job recruitment. In the workplace, being attractive, smartly dressed, or having a prestigious university on your CV can lead to assumptions that you're more qualified and harder working. The halo effect can also affect your earnings. In one study, attractive female restaurant servers earned about $1,200 more a year in tips than their less attractive co-workers. Female customers tipped beautiful female servers more than both male servers and unattractive female servers. Some research even suggests that physically attractive men and women are less likely to be convicted of criminal behavior. In education, teachers are prone to the halo effect too. In one study, students rated as above average in appearance earn significantly better grades in traditional face-to-face -face classes than they did in online courses. Similarly, Students who rated their teachers as warm and friendly also rated them as more attractive and likeable. Marketers use the halo effect to sell products and services. When a celebrity endorses a product, our positive judgments about that celebrity can spill over to our perceptions of the product itself. But the extent of the halo effect goes much further than these examples suggest. When we vote for political leaders, we like to think that we're making a considered decision based on the evidence and important issues. However, the appearance of political candidates has been found to affect judgments of their competence and trustworthiness. In one study, children as young as five were able to predict which candidates were going to win French parliamentary elections based on the candidates' looks alone. The same results have been found for US Senate elections as well as elections in the UK and several other countries. However, the attractiveness stereotype comes with its drawbacks. While people are more likely to attribute positive traits to attractive people, some studies have found that attractive people are more likely to be viewed as vain, dishonest, and manipulative. The Horn Effect is a version of the halo effect in which negative impressions about someone become all-encompassing, like judging an overweight person as lazy or irresponsible. Why are we? susceptible to the horn effect and the halo effect. Every moment your brain is bombarded with information competing for its attention. To function effectively with so much going on, it takes mental shortcuts. 
In the case of the halo effect, we fill in unspoken information about others to know how to behave socially. For example, if we see someone crying, we assume they're unhappy and try to offer comfort. Quick judgments like this benefit social interaction, but they can lead to errors that affect your daily life and relationships. So how can you beat the halo effect? The halo effect relies on us using quick, automatic and error-prone thinking. This was covered in more detail in another video about lazy thinking. To reduce the influence of the halo effect, we need to slow our thinking and keep in mind the halo effect and the influence of first impressions. In the case of job recruitment, this means not making a decision immediately after an interview. In dating, this means getting to know someone better before deciding whether to take things to the next level. Dating apps like Tinder make very good use of the halo effect and our tendency to make fast judgments about attractiveness that go on to affect our overall impression of that person. The halo effect can affect your judgment of others, but it's important to remember that it can affect the way others see you too. No one wants to be judged solely on their physical appearance or something trivial, like a spelling mistake. Slowing down and checking your biases can be helpful for avoiding errors of judgment. As the saying goes, never judge a book by its cover. If you enjoyed this content, you may enjoy this video on how to beat lazy thinking.